What's up everybody? So today I wanted to share with y'all how I became a Division One athlete and I also want to take y'all on the journey of how I got to where I'm at today. Change the game for, change the game for you, yeah. In high school, I played three sports, basketball, cross country, and track. So during basketball, I played and started alongside four other guys. And these are guys that I grew up with all my life. We started playing basketball when we were really young and somehow we managed to be able to start together our senior year. I was never really a shooter when I played basketball. I couldn't really shoot threes, couldn't really shoot mid range, but the one thing that I could do very well was drive of the basket like layups were my specialty alongside defense i was known for shutting people down my coach would specifically have me guard their best player to not let them score any points and i love that defense wins championships right we were actually really good our senior year and i think it's because we played together ever since we were little and everything just clicked and we knew each other we ended up being district champions and after that we were by district champions and after that we were regional champions then our last game together, we lost to a last second tip in at the buzzer. No! 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 Cross country, I only ran for two years. That was my freshman and sophomore year. Mainly because I found out really quick that long distance just wasn't for me. So I transitioned over to track where I ran all four years. And in those four years, I mainly focused on middle distance, which was the 800 meters and the four x four. Track is where I found out that I had really supportive high school coaches and to this day we still have lasting friendships because of the connections that we made when I was in high school. I think a main regret that I have is that I didn't really put any effort into track. Like track I was just naturally talented at and thought that I didn't really need to put any work towards it. I just kind of went through the motions and never really tried. I really do believe that it's mostly mental. Everything starts up here. Because I can remember vividly my senior year at our district championship race. The game plan that I had for that race was to stick in third for the first lap. When I get to that last 200, kick. And that's what I did. And I was able to outkick everybody in the field. And I think because of that mental preparation that I had, I was able to win that district championship. After district, I moved to area. I placed second at area. Then after area, I moved up to regionals. Regionals was my last race and I ran 157. I had multiple division two and division three scholarships after my regional meet, but I wanted to go division one. Yeah, I could have gone to a, a smaller school and been a big fish in a little pond, but that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to challenge myself. I had a division one coach tell me that if I ran a 157, that he would have a scholarship waiting for me. So that's exactly what I did. I ran 157. And after that, I was able to verbally commit to this university. But it wasn't until a couple weeks later that I got a call from this guy saying that he could no longer fund me. As much as that sucked, as sad as it was, to be verbally committed to somewhere and then have them just take that away from you, there's no words to explain it. But I wasn't going to let that one coach determine where my life went. So I decided to take it into my own hands and write my own chapter the way I wanted it to be. I was fortunate enough to go to my dream school at the University of Oregon. I always admired Phil Knight and I love the Ducks uniforms. Like they're the most unique, creative, clever, out of the box uniforms you'll ever see. So after that, I packed up my things, loaded our car and we drove all the way up to Oregon. Don't recommend that by the way, because that was the longest three days of my entire life. When I was at Oregon, I really wanted to be a business major and they have a great business school. So I decided to do that. But on top of that, I also wanted to run. So I decided to reach out to the head coach there and I called him and I sent him an email, but I got no response. So once again, I wasn't going to let that stop me. So I decided to join a club team. Club team was called the University of Oregon Running Club. And the club wasn't really serious for competitive runners. It was mainly for people that just enjoyed running. So I decided to run twice a day. I did the workout with the club team. Then on top of that, I was personally responsible for making my own workouts. We got to run in a lot of meets in Oregon, but we also got to travel some too. Like we went up to Seattle and ran at the University of Washington. Then we went down to California and ran at Palo Alto. Being able to travel like that really made lasting experiences for me in my time there. My last race, which was in Portland, turned out to be my best race because I went from my 157 personal best in high school to dropping it all the way down to 153. Now that I had a division one worthy time, I started reaching out to a lot of D1 schools. And I heard back almost immediately from Texas A&M. They were really impressed with how much I was able to do on my own. And they said they would love to have me. After a year in Oregon, I started feeling a little homesick and started to miss Texas. 
Thanks to the connections and relationships that I made with some of the people on the running club, they were able to put me under their wing and kind of guide me along the way. Overall though, I had a great experience at Oregon and I wouldn't trade it for the world because Oregon is the main reason that I had the opportunity to be able to run for Texas A&M. When I first got to A&M, it was a big adjustment period and I started off as a walk-on, but the more and more I became accustomed to the types of workouts that they had, I began to consistently drop my time and earn a travel spot. My junior year was my best year because that's when I ran a 151 outdoor and split a 47.95 and a 4x4. It took a while for my body to adjust to the types of workouts that we did. Wait, what am I saying? My body never adjusted to the types of workouts that I did. I ran with the best 800 meter runners in the nation. Like, every day was hard for me, but at the end of the day, it would make me better. Not only did it make me a better athlete, but it also made me a better person. Being a Division One athlete has taught me a lot of valuable qualities, like, Time management. Every day I would show up at 2.30. It was mandatory, but I loved it. That's why I showed up. It taught me to be more team oriented too, because sometimes you just can't accomplish something on your own. You need a team to do it. Also it taught me to be resilient and never give up. Because if you're passionate enough about something, you'll do whatever you can to reach that goal. One last thing guys, if the red button down below says subscribe instead of subscribed, what are you doing? Click that subscribe button and leave a like on this video. On that note, I'll catch you on the next one. I change the game for, change the game for, change the game for you.